Hello there, this is Dave Allen from No Stylist Podcast and also from Mactively Questions. And today what I want to do is I want to have a look and see how you move your videos from your iPhone, because it's much easier to take pictures with using your iPhone, than it is with your iPad. And I want to see how you get your pictures from your iPhone over to your iPad. Now I thought you'd be able to do this by sending them across from the iPhone into iTunes and then out again to the iPad. Well, it can be done, but it's a bit of a rigmarole, so let's find a better way of doing it. And to do this, I found an application called Photo Transfer. So let's have a look in there and see how we get the videos in there so we can start doing some editing. Okay, so what you have to do is you have to open up the application in both your iPhone and your iPad. It's a universal application, so you can get the same app and put it onto your iPhone and to your iPad. But also, there is a, an application that you can use and put onto your Mac so that you can do it there too. And there's another way of getting the pictures onto your Mac, and that's by using the web browser. So let's have a look and see how we get this set up. I've got it started both on the iPhone and on the iPad. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to press a few buttons and get things moving. So... On this one here, I'm going to go to, let's see, home button. First of all, I'm going to say that I want to send a video out and I'm going to send it to an iPad. I'm going to select a video. So I'm pressing the button to select a video. I'm going to go into the camera roll. Last 100 photos that are in there and select a bit of video. That's just one bit of video. I want to, actually, I want to select more than one video. Let's just select three of them. So I've got three videos selected there now and I'll click on done. OK, so now what I need to do is go to the iPad and on the iPad, I'm going to go to the home, go to receive and I'm going to receive from an iPhone or iPad. In this case, it's the iPhone I'm going to receive from. And it's discovering the devices you can see the iPhone. So what I'm going to do is I just tap on that there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it to save those videos to the Wizard Gold album. So it's doing the requesting of those videos and you can see in the total progress that is receiving two out of three videos. The first one went very quickly, didn't it? So you get a total progress on this and you also get a per video progress on it too. I can see what's going on this here as well on the iPhone. It does say having to mess about with wires. That is something that's good, isn't it? Well, there you go. Three videos were saved to my photo album and to be able to view them, all I've got to do is go into the Photos app. Into the Photos app and those videos that I just brought across are in there. So that first one is only a short one. So there you go, that's how we do that. Now what we can do is we can go into iMovie and that in iMovie we can now see those videos that we just brought in there. So what I can do is I can take this one here which I've recorded uh, with the iPhone. I can select where I want it to start. Let's move that yellow dot across. Start there. Finish about there. You haven't got the same sort of precision with iMovie as you have with Pinnacle. But it's not too bad. Put that in the timeline. So I've just deleted the audio clip out of the way. Now what I'll do is press play again. Let's press that. Theme music's off. Loop background music, turn that off. Do theme music on. So we've got travel on that there because we're using the travel theme. We could use the modern theme instead. Get some different music when we do that. Let's go back into that and start at the beginning and press play. So there you go, it's, that's how easy it is to get stuff into iMovie so you can work on it. I'm just doing some pinch in there to make it fit onto the, uh, the screen a bit better. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select another bit of video. Let's select this section here. That's put it on the end there and it's given me a transition from one bit of video to the next. Let's press play. ...onto your computer with the cable and get them through iTunes. It's easy as that. Okay, so there you go. How to get files moved from your iPhone through to your iPad or if you want to you can have them sent to your Mac. Okay so this is the photo transfer app here and this is a way of getting stuff moved from your devices through to your Mac. So in this case here I'm going to click on discover devices. At the moment it's just finding the iPhone. I've got the thing open again on the iPad so now if I take it to discover devices See, so it's got there, Spondicious. Okay, so here we are on the iPad, and you can see there, it's given me two addresses to put into the browser. I can use either one of those there. I found it easy to put the numbers in there. So I can actually get things from the iPad into the computer through the web browser. Not bad, really, but it's probably just that bit easier to use this app instead. Let's go back into this. Let's go to Spondicious. 
Okay, so we've got the album selected on there. We go to the Wizard Gold one. And you see there are those uh, videos I just brought in through um, photo transfer from the iPhone to the iPad. So I can tell it to download selected. And it's asking where to put it. Now this is an image, not a movie. So I'm going to put it into the pictures folder and click on download here. Download completed. How about that? That was quick, wasn't it? And tell it to open the download folder. So I'll see where it went to. So there you go. Photo transfer app. A couple of different ways of using it, moving files from your iPad to your iPhone or your iPhone to your iPad, or indeed you can go whichever direction you want, including to and from your Mac. So this is Dave Allen for No Stylus, Mac Tourner Questions, and also for Video Magical. Talk to you again soon. Bye bye now.